Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We've got a brand new 2024 Cimarron Lone Star Stock Combo sitting behind us. This is a 24 footer. This one definitely has some extras, so uh, pay attention as we walk through. Before we jump into the trailer, let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing so you can just see the layout. I'll show you a couple different things. Like I said, 24 foot on the floor. This has a slant wall front tack room. So it's a five and a half foot short wall with a four foot offset. This trailer is extra wide. It's seven six wide versus the standard 610 and standard height seven one. So you definitely have some extra width you get to deal with on this one. And then we threw some extras out this trailer. So uh, when you're looking at a Cimarron, you're looking at all aluminum construction. You have an eight year structure warrant, or excuse me, an eight year structure warranty, three year hardware warranty, one year no questions asked warranty on your tires. Uh, but when we look at this, very first thing you're gonna notice, um, stainless sheet on the nose, three marker lights on top. That's kind of the giveaway. They changed that standard to the 24 models. We were putting it on quite a few trailers and they just decided to make it a standard feature. It's just a good look to this trailer when we look at that. Uh, b and gooseneck coupler on it. So they've had a couple years of uh, relationship with b and We've kind of redesigned that a couple times, really getting it dialed in for you guys. Now on this one here, uh, we opted for the electric over hydraulic jack rather than a manual. Uh, a little bit wider trailer, but uh, a few extras on it. We wanted to put this definitely on. This is definitely a nice upgrade to be able to push a button and up down it goes. With that, you're gonna get your aluminum battery box that you can lock. 12 volt battery in there. It does have room for a second if you ever wanted to add that. And then you get your battery disconnect. So whenever you park this trailer, go to walk away from it, just reach in there, turn that off. It'll kill all power to the trailer. So if we accidentally leave a light on, we don't have to deal with a dead battery. Now, if we are in that situation, emergency situation, this system by Equalizer that Cimarron puts on their trailers has an override. So we can manually pump this on or off the trailer. If you watch a lot of our videos, when you're looking at our standard width trailer 610, this spare tire is located up higher. Because of the footprint we need for this versus the manual, we wanted to elevate that so we had more room if we ever want to add this. But when we're dealing with an extra wide trailer like this, it'll be located right where it's at. Now, a Cimarron nose is 8.2 long, so a little bit longer than, than a lot of competitors out there that maybe run like a 7.6, 7.8. Um, but with that being said, I like this because if you're running a long box truck and you put your tailgate down, you still have room to walk between the tailgate and then your jack and um, also your spare tire. So you can get through there uh, from that standpoint. Some other manufacturers with those shorter necks, when you drop that tailgate, it's almost up against that hydraulic jack. So you gotta watch that. One other thing that we like to do is we make to like our, make our gooseneck drop walls Standards 50, we make ours 53. In today's world of these taller trucks, Ram, Ford, new body style from the GMs, two and a half inches, three inches taller, we really want to worry about bed clearance. So with that being said, with this, we can adjust the coupler, make sure we have equal weight distribution on those two axles, making it run level, getting you bed clearance that you need in today's world. This one's white sheeted, that's standard. You can upgrade to silver metallic, charcoal metallics are very popular in today. Black, custom colors, there is an upcharge for those. But then as we get to the, the tack area, this is what really separates this trailer. This is a great trailer to work off of both sides of it. Uh, we joke around here, it's a his and her side. So you can have somebody traveling with you and have their side of the trailer to work off of. And then you have a side as well because we have dual entry in, into this tack area. With the swing out saddle racks, you're gonna get a 42 inch wide door. So as you saw how easy it was for me to walk in, even with the clearance, we don't have to worry about saddles dragging on the door frames and I can still get in and out even with this swing out saddle rack. So three tier, so you have three pads. These are all adjustable so we can move them up and down. You can add more, you can remove them whatever you want, it's on a gas shock. So as you saw, when I let it go, it just easily makes its way around there. Swings in out of the way. And then as you come in, you're gonna notice you're gonna have a fold up step. This is a little bit wider. So 
little less running board that you have to deal with, but boy, it makes a big difference in transition when you come into this tack room by having that step versus not having one. Okay, up at the gooseneck area, we've got LED lights. We have one in the middle, one above each door. But over on the right-hand side, you're gonna notice there's a tray up there. That is to store your plexiglass that's in the, the side slat area um, when we show you in those air gaps here in a few minutes. But that's a great place to store that. Windows so you can see out, create a cross breeze. If you're throwing a mattress up here, spending a night in there. The depth of this and the width, you have a ton of room in this trailer for storage up in this gooseneck area. You got carpet on the deck and the drop wall transitioning down into an 18 inch boot box that goes partial across the partition, or excuse me, the drop wall here. But great place to throw miscellaneous items. <laughs> Use it as a step jumping in there and also a bench. Now on the floor, we opted for this, this gray rubber. This is a coin uh, design on this one. <laughs> but this stuff is great because it's sealed at the edges. You know, it's not like rubber mats where dirt can still get underneath them. Um, or the other option is carpet. And I, I'm, this is me. I'm not a fan of carpet on the, on the floor. It gets really dirty. It holds odor. You can't get really, it's really hard to get rid of stains over time. So this is a great option that we've been putting on a ton of trailers as far as that's concerned there. We're going to get a shelf 18 inches deep with a two inch lip and then a clothes rod underneath it. So a great place to store items up top. Don't have to worry about them falling off that shelf because of the lip. There's rubber up on top as well. And then you have your clothes rod so you can hang clothes. You know, whether you're showing off of this trailer, um, you know, you can come in and change, you're traveling, you don't have to worry about, you know, all your hanging clothes taking up room in the truck itself. You got a place to hang them right in here. This is also framed for an air conditioner. Uh, that, it's a small, upgrade to have that on this trailer but with that being said it's going to save us a lot of time hassle and money for you down the road if you ever wanted to add an air conditioner or a, a 12 volt uh, vent power vent or even a manual vent because they all have the same footprint but by having those frames already welded in there again it saves a lot of hassle and again time and money for you now we'll show you the other side of this tack when we get on the other on the driver's side of the trailer but your partition wall is completely carpeted put a couple rows of bridle hooks there for you those are aluminum powder coated so they're really stout and then behind this swing out saddle rack you're gonna have a 25 gallon corner water tank by high country plastics it's nice to be able to carry that water on board with you whether you're traveling um, you know in the summer months dealing with traffic or, you know, a hydrant's a long ways away to pack buckets. It's nice to have it right here at the trailer for you. Now on that 42 inch door, you're gonna have four tier blanket pole rack on a gas shock as well for you. And then a brush tray. So again, more storage for you, more places for things just to keep nice and organized. And again, the nice big door there's that fold-up step, really easy to operate, uh, but boy, it does make a big difference in that transition, especially where that bottom frame is for that door. On the top rail, you're gonna button lights, and then you're gonna have some awning lights. So a 16-inch awning light directly above that tack door, and then we put you a, a second right above kind of the horse area where, where you can actually tie up and tack up right here when we're dealing with the the part of the trailer that's the extrusion on actually where the stall is. You're also gonna have button lights, LED button lights for marker lights. They're a clean look to this trailer. They put off a good amount of light without a big power draw. So here's your two air gaps. Like I was telling you about, you have plexiglass. There's a notch in every Cimarron stock trailer. So even if you don't have plexiglass, this track will already be there. So you can add it after the fact. But what you do is I like to take a pocket knife and put it in between them just kind of bend one out and then they're easy to slide out. So the largest piece is gonna be a four foot section. So it fits in that tray up there. <coughs> but since we're dealing with the slant wall, we have different lengths to these air gaps. So a tip, take a roll of masking tape and a Sharpie, take out passenger lower, write that. Take out passenger upper, write it on there. Do the same for driver's side. It'll save a lot of hassle 
down the road when you go to put those back in rather than trying to figure out all the puzzle pieces without any guidance. Two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles with electric brakes, 16 inch aluminum wheels, Goodyear 10 ply tires on this one. That is a bolt on fender as well. So it's not a weld on. So down the road, if you ever had to change that out, it got damaged. Again, saving you time and money by it being a bolt on rather than a weld on. So you gotta cut it off, weld the new one on. Again, saving a lot of hassle there. Now we opted for one rear gate on this one. If you notice on that gate, it's got rubber mat all the way around. We really wanted to put rubber kick mat all the way around the stall area. So we put it on the back gate. <coughs> it's a solid gate. Two rows of plexiglass there as well that can be taken out. Up on that top header there, you're gonna notice two eight inch awning lights. So we have light coverage there. And then we also like to upgrade you with backup lights. Our backup lights on our truck are a long ways away. They're gonna do no good back here. So you're gonna get into unfamiliar places, get home late at night in the dark. It's nice to be able to throw it in reverse and have these light up, see where you're going. If you wanted to add a rear ramp, we could do that. We could do a ramp over. We just remove the rubber bumper, attach it there, and then it folds up. And then as we come into the stall area, we have rubber mats on the floor. And then again, if you look at the side walls, kick mat all the way around. So we did it on both sides, head side, tail side, on the partition wall, tapered fenders in here, so no 90 degree angles. Everything has a, a, a break to it. So we, again, aren't dealing with those sharp edges and 90 degree corners. Because it's 7.6, you will have that wheel well in here on both sides. The standard 6.10 has no wheel wells. Some manufacturers will call their standard width sevens, but typically if you put a tape measure to it, it's gonna measure typically between six, nine and a half to six, 10, somewhere right in there. Um, but that's standard. This one definitely has the extra width in it. More LED lights over there on passenger side. Then on this guy, we put a swing gate in here. Now it's gonna match the partition wall that we just looked at up front in that tack. So it's on a slant as well. But this front compartment is six foot. So when we're dealing with our standard horse trailers, that's about the same size as we're dealing with two stall areas on a slant load horse trailer. So, you know, you wanna throw a couple saddled horses in here or throw a two head, you have that space in here. Um, but again, we really like the kick mats all the way around we did on this. Like I showed you, it's a slam latch. It's also a slam latch when it goes to lock over here. It automatically locks into the, this upper header. And then it actually sets on a foot too, which is really good. I mean, all manufacturers will tell you, center gates, dividers need to be in the lock position when you're traveling because of the bounce. And that's, that's what, what causes, you know, kind of stress cracks in some welds because this gate wants to move, it's only hinged on one side. But this guy is solid because it's on this foot down low and it's pinned up high. Now, let's talk a little bit about construction. You're dealing with the best floor in the industry. This floor, four inch centers. So those are those I-beams that run across the, the floor the full length. Uh, if you look at Cimarron, it actually has a V truss in the middle of a 12 inch deck, but those centers are every four inches. So imagine the hoof size of a horse, you wanna throw some cattle in here. Wherever they're standing, they're standing on a support beam. So best floor in the industry we're looking at there. Now we're gonna cap it off with an insulated roof. That is standard on every single Cimarron as well. So we have two-way roof vents. We've got a couple, of, uh, four of them. So kind of two up ahead, two behind that gate. But that roof versus aluminum sheeted keeps stallers about 20% cooler. So think about that in the really hot summer months how much cooler it's gonna keep this stall area uh, versus those aluminum sheeted roofs. And it's strong. I can walk on that roof and it won't dent it. It'll take 150 pounds per square foot. Uh, it takes substantial hail. We had a hail storm here, May 9th. Um, it dinged every single aluminum sheeted roof trailer we had here on our Cimarron's. The only thing it did was maybe their hay pod covers because those are aluminum, but that's changing to this material as well, and then their generator boxes. So 
those trailers made it through that with no problem. The last thing you're gonna get is a tie rail between your two air gaps. So, for running in the winter months, we have the plexiglass in, I can't throw a lead rope around these uprights, but you've got your tie rail in order to do that. One thing I like about having the plexiglass in the back of these trailers is it will end up keeping a lot of dust out of that stall area because what happens at the back of trailers is, is wind swirls. So if you're dealing with really you know bad dirt roads, get a lot of dust, it'll want to suck back into the trailer. So that'll keep it out of the stall area. Um, you know it's not 100% sealed tight, so. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna get a little bit of dust, but it's gonna help eliminate getting in, in those big air gaps. You know, it's one less thing that, you know, our horses or cattle are having to breathe in there, whatever livestock you throw in there, that dust that could cause some respiratory issues for you. So on driver's side, again, there's your plexiglass, two more awning lights, you know, center of the stall area, above the tack door. So again, lights all the way around. We like multiple, we like them above the tack and then where are you actually gonna um, get tacked up. Escape door going into that first stall area, a chest bar that goes across there as well. So if you do have somebody loaded in there and you crack this, they don't just decide to hop right out. <clears throat> and then ahead of that, there again, there's that mirrored front tack room I was telling you about. So again, this is a little bit shorter because of the slant wall, but 42 inch wide door, fold up step, brush tray, four tier blanket. And again, swing out saddle rack, three pads on this one as well, so they can be adjusted. Again, add more, whatever you want there but a really great trailer to work off of both sides. This, this option has really gained steam over the last couple years. Uh, we have sold a lot of these trailers, whether it's in a stock combo or in our slant loads, just because you're gonna end up working off of both sides of this trailer. It's nice to be able to have that tack and accessibility on either side of this. Even if you have to just hop in that tack room one side or the other, it's, it's nice to be able to do that there. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on this trailer. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron Lone Star Stock Combo, 24 footer, extra wide, dual tack door. It is 5N230606. So we do take trade-ins. So if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, we can help you out there. Uh, financing is available and delivery is an option as well. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.